Hi everyone, welcome to Subconscious Healing. <laughs> I'm just going to wait for some people to jump on. Hi everyone, welcome to Subconscious Healing. My name is Emma. Just send us a comment if you're there. Say hi, tell us where you're from. <laughs> hi everyone. <laughs> Share a comment if you're there. Say hi, let us know where you're from. <laughs> Welcome to Subconscious Healing. Today we're going to clear some more limiting beliefs. Hi Bailey. Oh, so beautiful to see you again. And Ray. So beautiful to see you again as well. Yay. <laughs> amazing. While people are jumping on, I was thinking maybe today would be an amazing opportunity for us to share any positive things that have happened this week. Um, you know, let's do what we can to express some love and, you know, just leave behind the stress for the moment of the coronavirus. Hi, Ray, you're in Melbourne. Hi, Melissa in Wollongong. So great to see you. <laughs> I'm good. Thanks, Ray. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's, while we're waiting for people to jump on, just, let's just share anything good or positive that has come out of this week. Are you benefiting from being home all of a sudden? Are you giving yourself time that you wouldn't have otherwise? You know, were you stressing about finances and then all of a sudden you've realized that this could actually work out, you know, in your benefit in some way financially? Um, you know, are you spending more time in nature? Have you spent more time with your family? Anything positive that you've experienced this week, let's share that in the comment section. Let's get some love happening. <laughs> to jump on <laughs> I know for me this week I was about to start traveling overseas exploring the world doing what I love I couldn't have thought of anything better and then all of a sudden this week I've just had the most amazing week of my life I have connected with the most beautiful clients online and I've had the most fulfilling week um, you know doing what I love and moved into a new home on the Sunshine Coast until things settle down and so yeah I've just my life has been amazing I never could have expected it in such a turmoil time so beautiful Tafleen I found kindness in people oh my gosh it's so true isn't it isn't it amazing what we're capable of you know some of the time we're so fearful that everyone's gonna fall into that fear and desperation and yet we still manage to be kind to each other and you know I know that myself as well I've noticed a lot of people they're not sending their anger at each other they're, they're really you know just sort of at peace with the fact that well there's nothing that we can do about this it just is what it is and I know that in itself to me seems amazing <laughs> Bailey I love that idea I've been living in a space of light and sharing all of my love with those around me staying at home has given me a chance to look deep inside and open myself up oh my gosh amazing congratulations Bailey I know isn't it funny we all of a sudden we've been given the gift of time in some aspects and it really opens things up for us doesn't it ray i've had more calls and long chats with friends i've never had before some i've only known a short while wow ray how beautiful you must have gotten to know them <laughs> how amazing that's so great keep sharing those guys i would love to hear more about you know anything positive that's happened for for you guys this week um, and i'll get started i'll introduce myself uh, my name is Emma Wax and I'm a subconscious healer and so what that means is that I have the ability to intuitively look beneath the surface of any difficulty in someone's life and find the deepest root cause of it and the root cause of any limitation in someone's life lies in the subconscious mind and so as a healer I have the ability to shift this energetically which then clears it instantly from your life. I'm also an intuitive energy trainer, which means that I have the ability to teach you how to do this for yourself. 
So during some this during a training, what we would do is we would expand our intuitive abilities and explore how you personally perceive energy. And we would use this to guide you in connecting with your true self. And this is the, the purest version of you, the version of you that you were born here to be. You know, before the identity came into play and before the subconscious limitations started becoming all that you were capable of, you know, before they started dictating everything that you did, your true self energy and your true self soul, the truth of who you really are, when we're able to connect with that, then we're able to really explore new possibilities in your life and start letting go anything that you're ready to be free from. And so that is precisely what we use these magical abilities for, is to start letting go of anything in your life that you're ready to be, basically that you're ready to ditch and to start allowing in more of the amazing stuff. So more unconditional love for yourself and for other people, more abundance, more self-love and really connect with that feeling of being self believing that that all-knowing sensation that says that no matter you know what anyone else says or does to you that you love yourself so much so and you're so filled with truth and who you really are that not anything or no one could ever rock that they could never shake that this all-knowing truth comes from connecting with your intuitive self um, and in an intuitive energy training, what we would do is we would start integrating that into your being, finding a beautiful home for your true self to live within you until it starts emanating from you on every level possible. And when that happens, an amazing shift comes in your life because you just start to be that person all day, every day. The person who fails, the person who punishes themselves, the person who gets stuck in situations that they don't want to be in, that no longer exists. You just become the truth of you and you become love and light. So this is my heartfelt creation and contribution to the world and I'm so beautiful that you're all here to share this with me. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the space for you all to share with me any difficulties that you've been having in your life this week uh, or in, in general. It, it doesn't matter how long you've had it for, um, but particularly if something has been bothering you this week, it's the, it's the perfect thing to bring up today. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to look beneath the surface and identify the details of this we're going to go into the subconscious mind and we're going to identify a limiting belief and what you'll notice is that just by bringing awareness to this you will create a miniature shift at the subconscious level and so you may feel this like an energetic integration or it, you may experience it as an intuitive ability such as visually or kinetically you may have an intellectual understanding of what this is um, you may be aware of what's happening for you or you may not either or is okay it all comes down to how you personally perceive energy and so there's no right or wrong way when it comes to subconscious healing because everyone perceives energy a little bit differently so they'll have their own experience of it so what we're going to do is if you'd all like to pop into the comments section now any difficulties that you've had i will get through as many people as i possibly can and share some truth for you I'm going to identify the deepest limiting belief that I can see for you today and we're going to um, you know, integrate some truths, share with you what we can just to create a shift for you today. Um, so if you're, if you're feeling a little bit nervous or worried about sharing something, we're all going to set the intention that we're in a safe space to explore anything that comes up. So, um, you know, I also have the ability to intuitively see if something is, you know, not to be said publicly. So feel free to, to share anything that you like and I will do my best to tune in and share what I can for you. Um, certainly, please get in contact with me if you'd like to connect one on one. We can explore anything in your life. Um, and you can visit my website www.findtimeandspace.com to book in for a free subconscious healing session if you'd like to explore this further. So feel free to share any limitations guys in the comment section and I'll start tuning in for you and clearing limitations. 
um, what um, what I've found works amazingly is that if you have something specifically, you know, that's been happening for you recently, definitely share that. If you're not quite sure and you haven't got something specific, feel free just to share an area of your life. So you may just share relationships or finances, health or career, um, love and connection, life purpose. Feel free to just share in the comment section anything that you've got going there. Um, and I'll have a look and tune in and see what I can uh, shift for you today. So Ray, I always feel like as soon as things are good, it won't last and things will turn bad. So I fear when things are good. Wow, Ray, I have to say you're already subconsciously aware there. You've, you've identified a limitation and that is that you fear when things are good because of your, your past experiences. Um, because you're worried that they are going to turn bad. So congratulations. Let's have a look and see what we can do here to create a shift for you. So what I'm seeing at the moment is that this fear, um, it, it didn't actually belong to you to begin with. This is a fear that belonged to your parents. Both of them actually had this fear. Um, you know, that things are so good up until a certain point, but eventually it's no longer going to last. Um, and this is a fairly, you know, uh, common societal belief that we have. For you, it feels like it imprinted when you were about two years old. Uh, there were some financial difficulties going on for your family at that time I'm getting. And the, this is where this limitation first set in for you. It was during that period where you were uh, looking out at the world and absorbing like a sponge and you absorbed that this is all that life is. That this is all that's possible in life. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a shift here. And to create a shift, what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate some truth. The truth for you, Ray, is that there is absolutely nothing in this universe that can limit you. You are possible of being anything that you set your mind to. And the good times are here to stay. They truly are. So this might feel like an energetic integration for you. Allow it to sink in, integrate into all of your cells. I can feel how much you're loving this. Um, so feel free to relax into this, but it is, there is absolutely no limitation in life. You can be all that you desire to be. Hi guys, I lost you. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Ray. How's that feeling? I hope that's feeling wonderful for you. Um... It feels really nice and good and done and it feels like if you wanted to connect we could explore that a little bit further. There's some more limitations for you in the area of finances and in feeling worthy. Um, and this is connected to you being able to step into your power when good things do come your way. It's almost as though good things come your way and then you retract in fear. This is because you are um, unable to feel empowered and it's this unworthiness, this limitation of feeling unworthy, unworthiness that's caused this for you. So I would love to work with you further. Limitations, guys, can be fairly big and, and can have a few different sides to it. So you'll notice that once we've shifted a small aspect of it, there may be a little more to uncover. But eventually, once we've accessed all sides of the rock, we've accessed all sides of this limitation, then we're able to create a full, complete shift for you. And that's what I do in my subconscious healing sessions. So thank you so much, Ray. I hope that felt wonderful for you. Let us know how you went with that. Bailey, I've been having trouble with relationships in the area of sex specifically. It's like I don't want to give my body up if someone can't appreciate my mind, body and soul. Wow, Bailey, thank you so much for sharing. Let's have a look and see what limitation there is there for you. I'm seeing a fair bit of upheaval for you in this area recently. It almost feels like you've really been, um, you know, clearing out a lot of limitations and a lot of, um, you know, lack of self-love, all of those kinds of things. So the first thing is to congratulate yourself because you're doing all the right things there. What I can see beneath that is that there's a part of you that is unable to accept yourself and this has stemmed from, it's almost as though I'm seeing this is fairly connected to your father and I'm seeing his energy is connected to your heart in some way. It's almost like it comes in through the top of your head 
and it is set in firmly up to around this area. It's almost locked in there um, because there was a fairly big imprint that happened for you when you were younger. And I'm getting that this was maybe started at the, around the age of about seven years old. So what I'm going to do for you today, Bailey, is I'm just going to lift some of that energy for you. So if you feel anything in the heart, just feel free to breathe into that. Um, and allow yourself to, to just let go of anything that you're ready to be free from. Beautiful, well done. So sometimes if we're ready to just be completely free, we don't see so many of the so much of the details, and that's what's amazing with subconscious healing. We don't need to identify all of the tiny little bits and pieces of you know exactly what happened to us and why things have imprinted for us. It's funny because if we actually did that, it, the healing journey would be a very long one. So the most important thing is that once we've you know, found our intention and we've hit that awareness, we're able to create a shift and that we become open and free, ready to let go. So Bailey, that's going to continue for you. Please let us know how that healing goes for you. Thank you so much for sharing. I hope it um, contributes to your shifting journey. And don't worry, Ray, I totally got what you meant. <laughs> um, thank you. Wow, I felt so much tingling in my body. Amazing. Yes, you're definitely feeling those energy integrations, aren't you, Ray? <laughs> Amazing. Tafleen, feeling insecure. Okay, let's have a look and see what we can for you. Sorry, see what we can do for you. Oh, Tafleen, just connecting with you is a beautiful experience. I hope you you <laughs> can appreciate that. Oh my gosh, you're you're such a beautiful person and a beautiful, soft, kind soul. I can really feel it in your energy. Um, what I'm getting is that there's a fair bit of anxiety for you at the moment around everything that's been going on. Um, and so for you specifically, it's like there's a message coming through from your true self that they, they wanted me to share for you. It's that everything that's going on for you right now is happening for you to show up your insecurity, but also to show you that there is a way to power through it. So by bringing in self-belief, you're, you're able to step into your power and you're able to move through any challenging situations. So I'd like to integrate self-belief right now for you and for anyone else who's open, feel free to just allow self-belief in. I'm going to bring that in as an energy integration. Because when we're believing within ourselves, when we're in the frequency and the energy of self-belief, it doesn't matter what's happening in the environment around us. We're still able to move through it. We may just need a little more time to ourselves, which funnily enough, a lot of us have at the moment. So really allow yourselves the time and space that you need to take a little bit of extra rest and to be in nature and rejuvenate and to do anything that you can to really you know, allow yourself to embrace oneness and embrace who you really are and just to, to look after your health and your well-being because it's really going to go a long way in keeping you safe from any um, fear and any limitations that are in the space around us during this time. And what happens when we connect with other people from this space where we're actually showing them that it's also possible for them to be self-believing. So Tafleen, I actually see for you that you have purpose in this. You have purpose in showing people what it means to be able to believe in yourself and to be able to, you know, achieve the unthinkable during times of, you know, chaos. And so what you're actually feeling right now is the chaos in the community. And it's okay for you to, to look after yourself during this time so much so that that doesn't affect you. So there are some more limiting beliefs there for you, Tafleen, that we could um, certainly look at exploring for you. I hope I've created enough energetic space for you to alleviate some of that pressure a bit. Um, let us know how you went with that and definitely um, feel free to connect with me and, and, and book in for a subconscious healing session if you'd like to explore that further. Joan, needing change. Oh, yay. I love, I love change. <laughs> Let's have a look and see what is resisting change for you. What's creating resistance for you? So I'm seeing a blockage for you and it's actually very connected to your ego mind identity. So the ego mind identity for you feels like it represents basically your life up until now. Everything you've experienced up until now. 
and it's creating difficulty in your ability to be able to see um, with clarity. It's almost like I see this, this, um, you know, these combination of thoughts and feelings and experiences have almost clouded you in some way and you haven't been able to really identify what it is that you are looking for let me know if this is resonating for you but what i'm seeing intuitively is that you're not really able to see the change that's there to be made so you're unable to make you know decisions and work towards it so what we need to do again for you is we need to shift some of this, this um, you know, create t some time and space for you and shift some of the limitations that are creating this blockage, sh shifting, um, you know, whatever it is that's allowing the ego mind to, to um, you know, feel that it needs to be in control of your life at the moment. Um, and so this is for everyone at the moment, at any given moment that we are feeling like we're lacking clarity. The ego mind's usually at play here. It, it doesn't allow us to see clearly how we can move forward. And so allowing us to, allowing ourselves the space that we need to, to connect with who we really are, to connect with our true intuitive self, allows us to integrate more love into our lives and, and see who we really are. So um, Joan, I've just sort of integrated that for you as an integration. I hope I've, again, I've created enough space for you to feel some ease and feel relief of that pressure but again i am seeing that there's some more to be cleared there and for you it feels like there's limitations around other people it's like other people are making you feel uncomfortable and um you know you're, you're actually experiencing a fair bit of backlash from other people at the moment um so it's it feels like for you to really acknowledge you know that there's Wow, the connection shocking today. <laughs> Thanks for hanging on, guys. Um, so, Joan, yes, we've 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 opened up opportunity for you to give yourself time today. So, um, please let me know how that feels for you. I hope you start, um, you know, allowing yourself, um, you know, being able to allow yourself a little a little more time to, um, you know, get in connection with yourself again. Thank you so much, Joan Ray. Oh yes, thank you, Bailey. Yes, it's so true. Definitely will benefit from working with you. Can't wait to book. Thank you, Ray. So great to see you. Tafleen, thank you so much. You're a beautiful soul. Thank you so much, Tafleen. You're also beautiful. Victoria, hello, second time. I am new here. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Wayne. Perfect. Yes, guys, I can definitely help you out. So today, feel free to share a limiting, uh, sorry, feel free to share a difficulty that you're having in your life and I will tune in and see, you know, what the biggest limiting belief is for you beneath the surface and see what I can shift for you. Um, you can also jump on my website www.findtimeandspace.com and book in for a free subconscious healing session. I'll just pop that in the comment section there for you as well, guys. Welcome. Um, connect keeps breaking up. Is it just me? No, Ray. It's definitely me. <laughs> I just moved into a new house and the internet is a bit funny here, so it should all be fixed up in the next couple of days. Joan, thank you. I lost the last bit. Yes, so Joan, it was just about connecting you with your, um, you know, just giving yourself time to connect with yourself. Um, Kasali, my difficulty is with believing in myself. Thank you for sharing your difficulty. Let's have a tune in and see what it is that we can do to bring in some belief for you. So guys, feel free to share a difficulty in your life and I'm happy to tune in and see what I can shift for you today with subconscious healing. Casa, my difficulty is believing in myself. So for you, Casa, it feels like um, it's beautiful because you've you've allowed subconscious. Um, so what I'm seeing that there are a few different elements to believing in yourself. I'm being shown we can shift today. Um, to shift the other ones, we may need to connect one on one with a little bit more time. What I'm seeing, the first one for you is that um, I, I feel like as a child, you were fairly emotional and you were suffering a fair bit with the emotions of people around you. 
so it feels as though for you this is a bit of a weight that is carried around for you throughout your um, you know throughout your life now holding you in the past it's not allowing you to be able to move forward so I'm seeing that you know in those moments where you do actually find the you know the space to be able to um, move forward this emotional weight sets in and it blocks you and it keeps you stuck where you are so I'm just going to create a shift there for you it feels like this was connected to some things going on in early childhood for you um, and so we can explore that further in a session if you like but what I'm getting for now is just a truth for you because everything that you're feeling right now just before the moment of shift is the non-truth okay all those uncomfortable feelings The truth is that you are love. There is love within you and everyone else on this call, feel free to integrate this. You are love. There is nothing else. Nothing else deserves, you know, space in your life if it's not from a space of love. So right now we're bringing this integration in. We're expanding it throughout your and allowing for this to become your truth because this is who you really are. We, it is possible to live a life, you know, free from your past, free from your and free from any difficulties that have come up. And it is possible to live a life from a, a space of pure love. And I am absolute proof of that. Actually sort of similar to you, Cassie, in the way that in my past, Remember, um, oh, Casa just commented. I've been told stuff in my absolutely. I can share that. Um, you know, but I find a lot of there's a lot of you know there's 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 trauma that we've experienced ourselves. Also, levels of trauma that we have not experienced in its fullest, but we have taken on the energy from our parents, from their trauma, and it almost as a child it can feel as real to you as it. And what happens is that when our our parents' energy becomes us, we become all of their traumas and all of their limitations. So for me myself. My family had lots of difficulty with some fairly heavy, um, you know, back through the generations, some fairly heavy abuse patterns and things like that. And I had attracted some minor experiences like that into my reality, but I certainly had not, um, you know, experienced the depth of what I felt like I had experienced. This is what comes up for you when you start to explore the subconscious. So... You know, you've already experienced your subconscious to a certain point. And this is what I, I love to share with people is that when I first got on this journey, I, you know, of self-development, self-empowered, I was exploring my subconscious. I was exploring my emotions and I actually dug myself into a bit of a hole a bit because I was unable to, I had, I had started to become aware of everything that I, I in my and I really struggled to be able to dig myself out of this, this emotional, you know, hell that I was experiencing. It, it felt like this huge heavy weight that was keeping me down every day. And I really suffered with that. And it wasn't until I found the modality that I'm using today, Intuition Wisdom. Um, you go to intuitionwisdom.com to explore this stuff or you can visit my website and, and gain access to a lot of their free trainings and things. Definitely check this out if this is resonating with you or connect with me one-on-one -on -one because there's so much power in realizing that so much of our emotional weight doesn't need to be experienced. And this is what I learned when I connected with this modality was that I could learn how to subconsciously shift this stuff without needing to know exactly what it is, without needing to relive past experiences that were really damaging for me. So subconscious healing is amazing in this way because we're able to subconsciously sh thank you for holding on casa <laughs> um so yes there's huge huge power in being able to start looking through this energy what i've found is that 
some of what, what happens is that as we start shifting through energy and a lot of people are doing this now, we, even without realizing it, we start to believe that we are what we are experiencing. But there's so much power in knowing the truth and being able to shift the energy and work through energy without needing to believe that we are what we're experiencing. This is all a false um, conception that came from the, the, the ego mind identity. Um, so Casa, please connect with me if you would like to, um, you know, if you would like me to explore this further with you. It can be a bit of a minefield when we start exploring the subconscious when some of these emotional heavy things start to come up. Um, you know, it can be a, a fairly difficult journey and I know that myself, I really needed support through that and I, it was nowhere to be found. I couldn't find people that could help me to really shift this and clear this without being an emotional mess. <laughs> so if anyone else is feeling that way, please connect with me one-on-one -on -one for a free subconscious healing session. Um, I would love to hold space for you to, to work through this because what happens when you connect in the space with me is that we are able to clear any limitations in your life and clear all of the heavy emotional weight out of it so that we can get really deep and create big shifts for you right then and there and then it becomes an enjoyable journey you no longer need to experience the ego mind's version of it the the part of us that is connected with you know everything that society means to us says that the journey is difficult that healing can be difficult that you know we struggle you know spiritually and emotionally of being free from the ego mind is that that no longer exists in your life and you just get to enjoy love beauty embrace abundance all of those wonderful things and so this is this is the essence of fine time and space you find space for you and the truth of you and who you really are and we get to heal you from that place so casa great yes absolutely i will for sure thank you i would love to connect with you i cannot wait to start um shifting this for you it feels like it's a very easy fix <laughs> Joy, joy, blessings, Emma. Hi, I can really resonate with this too. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. Yes. So anyone that's just joined us, feel free to share um, any difficulty that you've been experiencing. Um, and I'm doing subconscious healing for you all today. So I'm clearing limitations beneath the surface. Um, if you would like to explore this further, jump on www.findtimeandspace and book in for a free subconscious healing session. Uh, this is the perfect way to uh, start exploring subconscious healing and to start identifying limiting beliefs at the deepest root uh, level. And when we are able to identify things at the deepest level and shift when being in a space absolutely free from the ego mind, it, it really empowers us um, to move forward through our life through any fear, any frustration and, and allow ourselves to be standing up, you know, um, to be able to move through any difficulties in our life. Wayne Bryden, hello, thank you. I will explore this some more. Yes, please, Wayne, please do. Um, feel free to share a limitation. Joy, joy, wow, sounds really good. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I can't wait to connect with you guys some more. Um, one thing that I really noticed this week with the coronavirus being around is that people are about to reach the point of fear and have that desperation start to break through if not already and what I'm getting is that it's going to be really beneficial for as many of us to be in love and truth and life and light as it possibly can um, and so clearly if you're on this call you're already on that journey in some way so feel free to share any positive insights around how you've been able to spend your week if this has been um, you know a reality for you I would love to um, congratulate you and and you know celebrate successes with you because there's so much um, to celebrate when we're able to stay in that space and and you know become true to ourselves when there's so much chaotic energy in the world at the moment and there's 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 really you know our mind would tell us there's absolutely nothing that we can do about it but but the more of us that can live outside of the fear the less fear is present the less we contribute to what's happening there. And at the end of the day, the coronavirus is a limiting belief. It would have began from a limiting belief and only those who have limiting beliefs are able to take on limitations in their life. So if you're free from limiting beliefs and you're free from limitations, then you are protected. You are safe 
from getting sick, you're safe from financial difficulty, you are safe from so many of the, you know, the, the struggles that we experience in life. It becomes so much easier to become our pure loving selves. So feel free to share a difficulty in your life if you've just jumped on and I would love to tune in and share some insights for you. Thank you, Joy Joy. She's had definitely parents and past generational residue she'd like me to have a look at for her. Okay, Joy, let's have a look. Oh my gosh, Joy, I really do just feel this beautiful um, bright yellow gold energy. I don't know if this is um, relevant for you in some way, but I just connect with you and I just feel, you know, your energy shines and it's, it's pure happiness. It's beautiful. <laughs> Um, so let's have a look and see what limitations there are for you with your parents and any past generational residue. Um, if the connection cuts out, stay with me. I'll be okay, Joy. So yes, let's have a look and see generational residue. It feels like for you, there's some limitation in the way of feeling confident within yourself. Your, your self-confidence feels like it's, it's been struggling. Um, and I see that this comes back down to your father specifically. It feels like he was, um, not aware of what he was doing, but he was limiting you, um, in some way because he wasn't able to, to really see all of the amazing things that were possible for himself in his life. So what this left, um, you with, um, when you came into the world, the beautiful girl, and I'm seeing this goes back even right up until, um, your conception, um, you know, his, his energy was not able to accept and see pure love. And so what this did was it limited you because you, it's almost like he, he wasn't able to see who you really were from your true self space. All babies are born pure love, right? We know that all babies are born into this world. They're pure love and they're just emanating beauty. So um, if your parents are unable to see that within themselves, it, it limits you in, in the way of being able to really feel confident in who you really are. And so self-confidence, this is one of the biggest limitations that I see commonly for a lot of people is that it stem, comes back down to their parents not being able to see greatness within themselves. And this isn't for everyone, but, but a lot of people um, do experience this. So, Joy, what I'd like to do for you is integrate some truth for you. And this may feel like a bit of a nice energy integration for you. And anyone else who's just joined, feel free to integrate this one for yourself as well. Um, if it's, if it's uh, resonating for you. But for you, Joy, the truth is that there are, there are absolutely no limits to what's possible in your life. You are you. It's like we're connecting you with your, with your real you now. And as we're bringing that energy in, we're actually expanding it throughout your body. And as we do so, we're blitzing out so much of that residue. We're clearing so much of the negative energy that has been with you since conception. We're also clearing out your future as well. So if this is resonating for anyone else, feel free to just integrate this. Imagine a white light coming in through the top of your head, integrating into your body. And then once it reaches your center, you're just expanding this out. Anyone watching this back later can do the same exercise. Allow for this energy to expand out as far as it wants to go. You are you. Just see what does that mean to you? What is you? What is the real you? What is the truth for you? Perfect. So that feels like it's going to um, completely continue integrating for you. Joy Joy is saying definitely resonating, Emma. Thank you, Joy. It's beautiful. Yes. Um, definitely connect with me for a session if you'd like to explore. It feel, almost feels as though the lack of self-confidence for you, Joy, it's, you know, there's, there's a many different things that have contributed to this in your life. But the thing for you is just connecting you with your intuitive self, your true intuitive you, because 
you're so open and ready to start clearing and letting go of things that aren't serving you that it, it's really for you just becomes a matter of allowing in the truth allowing in what's possible for you and allowing in new levels of love and abundance and all of those good things and that all comes from connecting with your true self energy so anyone else who's watching this back later or who's just joined the call feel free to explore that what is the true you what is the truth of you and if you're feeling energy integrating in or you're aware of energy integrating in allow for that to come in this beautiful state of the truth of us it, it you know it's it's possible for us to be living from this space all day every day so allow for yourself to enjoy that sophie hi beautiful sophie hope you're feeling wonderful after your session <laughs> Hi Emma, anything to do with finances would be amazing. Wonderful, so let's continue this integration. We're clearing um, a lack of confidence for, um, for, for Joy and anyone else who's shifting that. That may still be going on. you clearing that. At the same time, what we're going to do is we're going to explore finances. So let's see what's happening for Sophie. Mm. So finances for you, Sophie, I'm actually seeing a blockage in your heart area. It feels like there's been some heartbreak financially for you in the past and it's contributed to feeling a, a lack of awareness and a lack of self-belief in that area. So what I'm seeing is that the, the heartbreak actually began elsewhere. It didn't belong to you. It belonged to someone else. It's almost like this started as an energetic attack for you. So this could have been a past employer. Um, I'm seeing that it was, I'm trying to gauge whether it was a man or woman, but the energy is very interchangeable. This is common sometimes, you know, women sometimes have a lot of masculine energy, men sometimes have a lot of feminine energy. It can be hard to determine when you're so energetically inclined, but it does feel like someone else has energetically attacked you at some point and it's kind of locked in with one of your subconscious limitations. So let's see what that limitation was. Let's clear that, which means that no one can ever energetically attack you again from that same space. And the limitation comes down to a fear. And it's a fear of being loved. Funnily enough, the fear of being loved has, has blocked your finances because when you are not able to receive unconditional love from someone, you unfortunately you unfortunately receive um, everything that they're sending your way in in it's almost as though they're, they're wanting to be validated by you this particular person and this this dynamic we can explore um, in one of our sessions together but um, this is a very common dynamic that I see if you're not able to be self-loving within yourself then all of a sudden you you open up to other limitations from other people if they then it is absolutely impossible for them um, you know for you to be able to protect yourself in amongst that kind of energy so um, it feels really important for you to find some self-love around finances so use some of the amazing new tools that we've taught you to allow yourself to feel more self-loving on every level and we'll definitely get into more of that now is I'm lifting this person's energy from you and I'm putting it into a really nice safe and supportive space so that they can they can shift whatever they need to or whatever they're ready to um, if at all but with finances this is such a common thing and this is why it doesn't feel good you know a lot of the time when we're working and we're giving so much to a corporation or to a business um, you know or if we're working to support you know a, a family member or a partner you know, sometimes we, we feel this false sense of confidence as we're doing that. It's because we're seeking validation from other people as we are, you know, building ourselves up with our financial gains. So this is something to be, you know, really aware of, especially during this time, is that, you know, if you love yourself, if you've been able to embody self-love on every level, including in your finances and you know, you're able to check in with your boundaries around what sort of money you would like to receive. If money comes from a place of unconditional love, yes, please, I'd like to receive it. If money doesn't come from a place of unconditional love, is it in the highest good for me to receive it? 
um, is it in the highest good for me to say no thank you and what you'll be doing then is you will be saying no to a limit you know to a limitation to to someone else um, attempting to validate themselves through you and please let's you know be aware guys that there's no judgment with this this is something that literally every single person on the planet does with something you know we're always seeking validation from ourselves it's just that when we're looking minutely at the energetic exchanges and connections that are happening here this is what we see so you know allow this to be something that you'll um you know that you're present to from now on if you're experiencing that feeling inside where you know you're receiving money but it doesn't feel right for some reason it makes you feel a little bit uneasy it's because there is you know self a lack of self-love on your part um, which means that you're a either seeking validation from someone else or someone else is seeking validation through you so Sophie let me know how you feel now that I've lifted that energy off for you but you can see that for Sophie she had an ex-employer who validated themselves through her at some point and this created a limitation it created a subconscious limitation for her in the ability to be able to you know manifest finances for herself financial gain and this is what we see when we start exploring you know again right back through to childhood or right back through to you know conception if our parents are unknowingly seeking validation through us by providing everything that they can for us you know then it can it can create financial blockages for us and resistance in being able to manifest abundance so subconscious limitations form in all kinds of ways and, and when we're able to combine the intuitive ability of identifying a subconscious limitation and connecting that with the ability to be able to shift energetically the 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 residue that's been left from this sort of experience then we're able to open the doors to new opportunities and this is what i do so um, if you're interested in learning more about this check out www.findtimeandspace.com and book in for a free subconscious healing session um, the connection's been dropping out left right and center today so I do apologize for that I hope you all received your messages beautifully which I'm sure you did um, if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me on Facebook um, add me as a friend Emma Wax connect with me on Facebook um, or feel free to book in for a free subconscious healing session all of these can be done online um, it's so beneficial and amazing to do it online because we're breaking through all limitations around what it means to connect with others what it means to be you know to what energy is and you really start to explore the truth of, of what your energetic perception is it's really truly beautiful so please connect with me online for a subconscious healing whether you are with me now or whether you're watching this back later I would love 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 so much to connect with you further and Joy is saying yes um, that's right and she's resonating with everything there and she will book in for a session that would be wonderful thank you Joy I can't wait to connect with you so excited thank you so much everyone I hope I got Got through everyone's um, comments and feel free to connect with me if you'd like to know more bye-bye have a great weekend